Hey guys, Omar here. This is a follow-up to my birding photography video. Thank you so much for watching. I got a couple of questions on my settings that I use when I was using the 100 to 400, photographing the birds, back button focus, manual. I kind of glazed over that in the video. Also, by the way, check the links below and also in the, the birding video, I put up a gallery of the photograph so you could take a closer look, a full resolution look at what the 100 to 400 was doing. Okay. Back button focus camera settings, let's go. Okay, for those of you that don't know what back button focus is, by default, your camera shutter, if you half hold it, will engage autofocus. One of the reasons photographers wanna take the focus off of this button is because if you have a different button for your focus, you can pre-focus on something, let's say a branch or somewhere you know that a person or thing is going to land, you can pre-focus and then you could take your hand off the camera and just wait. You don't have to refocus again or hold the button as you wait for something to happen. So with the bird photography, I can back button focus to a branch and then I don't have to focus anymore because I know that the camera is set to that spot. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to back button focus, a lot of times you never go back. Now, one of the instances I do go back to shutter autofocus is if I'm doing street or casual photography, I turn on the autofocus on the shutter because it's more comfortable to hold the camera in one hand, half hold the focus and shoot, as opposed to trying to get the thumb. It's too hard to hold a Fujifilm camera and back button focus sometimes. All right, so to turn off the shutter, all you have to go is to your spanner or your wrench and go to button dial settings. And in button dial settings, if you go to the second menu, shutter AF. So in the menu here, you can choose if you want the shutter to be on or off. But there's another trick. You can actually just keep both on. That means the shutter autofocus is on. And what you want to do is if you set this button or this button, I, I like the AEL button is a little bit more comfortable to back button. You can actually set a second button to autofocus. And if the camera is in manual focus, these two don't matter at all. So you can leave the shutter AF on for both. And then what you do is you switch the camera to manual. And since the camera is set to manual focus now, no matter what I do here, it's not going to autofocus, even though the shutter AF is on. But even though the shutter AF is not turned on, you actually have the second button available to you to autofocus. So that's how I was shooting the bird photography. This back button was set to autofocus quickly, but the camera was set in manual focus so that I can turn the manual focus wheel on the lens. Now, if for any reason I wanted the shutter AF on, all I have to do is switch the camera to single focus, and now this guy is back. So it's a good way to switch between, you know, having your shutter AF available and also having your back button available. It's a good workaround to just switch quickly between those two. All right, if you have any other camera settings questions, just ask and maybe you'll get a video. All right, I'll see you guys next time.